hello there I am making soap today um, and the soap I'm making is called olive leaf and honey which is actually the signature soap for my shop so I'm just gonna show you the light water it's got a bit of olive leaf in it that's been diffusing in that so I'm going to sieve it out And this soap has a high concentration of honey. I mean, all my soaps have honey and beeswax in it. But this soap has a higher concentration of both raw organic honey uh, and Scottish honey, Scottish local honey, and um, a high concentration of beeswax. So it does chase quite fast. So I'm not going to put the blender in immediately. This is my fragrance today. It's a blend. It's one of my favourites. It's a blend of geranium, um, sweet orange, litsy, and a few other things. And it is gorgeous. It really, really is a nice scent. I'm going to put that in at the start. I usually make this soap in one block colour. Um, I'm going to add an um, olive leaf ground up and I'm going to add it into one base layer today. Like I'll, I'll divide it into two um, batches and I'll make a layer of um, olive leaf. But usually it's one block colour and it's, um, it's gorgeous. It's like this really deep dark yellow shade and I don't use any colourants in it at all. And I've got a feeling that that shade comes actually from just using like a high percentage of honey and beeswax. And oh, I've got this here today. I've never done this before. It's basically, this is like a little tea strainer. It's a bit odd looking, but it's got barley grass powder in it. And I am thinking that if this plays well and behaves, then I might make a like a barley glass, grass line, do you know, um, the way you make mica or um, cocoa powder lines. Yeah, see it's coming to trace quite, <laughs> quite quick. And I've not even used the stick blender. So I'm just going to separate that. I'll do another chug. was my olive leaf. I sometimes use olive leaf powder like it's when it's ground up very fun and this time I've just used it it's quite coarsely ground so there's going to be uh, an exfoliating action coming from it. And I'm going to use this as the base layer. Okay, so I'm just going to build, bring my mould across.
I just put olive oil in the like, fresh olive oil. Just put it in a tutorial. Thanks, me. Okay, so I'm going to make the. I hope this works. The barley glass line. And I've used cocoa powder before to make a line, but I've never used barley grass. You can speak if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> You're up a bit early. I thought you'd come after 11. No. That's it. Okay, so we'll see how that works. Okay, so it's pretty simple from now on. It's just a matter of blending it and pouring it quite gently on top so it doesn't like sink into the base layer. Soap, baby. Soap. I'm sorry. I'll be quick, okay? Be quick and get out of your way. No, no, baby. Judy, tell me to come up with the joke. Come here, baby. He wants to watch this. It's super nummy. Okay, but be careful if you don't come. <laughs> it's not for eating. It's not yummy. Yeah. No, it's not for eating, okay? Right. Smooth this back. Okay, so I'm doing a voiceover from now on simply because things began to get very noisy in the kitchen and um, it was too distracting. So, and it's not a lot left, I think there's just a couple of minutes left towards the end, and it's just simply me pouring the the base layer on top of the the bottom layer that's got the olive leaf in it. And I'm trying to do this so that it doesn't break through into the bottom layer, but I don't think I was successful. I think it has broken through, which is a shame because I really wanted to see how that barley grass line turns out. Yeah, I don't see if you, I don't know if you can notice, but I feel like the barley grass is moving, so it means it might have broken through. But we'll see what happens when it's cut. And that colour, that like deep, almost orange, 
a deep golden yellow orange shade it comes simply from having a large quantity of beeswax and honey in the soap there's no colouring in this at all and it's a shame because it does pale slightly as it cures but you can't help that and it's still a nice colour though I've made this quite a few times now um, and it's it's strange but soap that has a lot of beeswax in it has a very different kind of consistency and texture it's a lot smoother like when you when you cut into the bar and the bar, after the bar has been cured it's a lot smoother um, and it's got a very kind of good hard feel to it and that's just a typical bubble wrap it's, I think it's really overdone. I know everyone who makes honey soaps, who makes honey soap, usually uses this as the honeycomb effect. But I like it. It's always good to cut it to size though, otherwise it just becomes a big mess. It kind of gets everywhere. Okay, so that's it, I'm almost done. I will probably film the cutting of and attach it to the end of this, hopefully. Once that's done. Okay. Thanks. Hello there, so I'm doing a quick unmolding and cutting video, a soap log cutting video for olive leaf and honey soap. So, okay. That's nice. That's like the bottom layer with the olive leaf bits in it. <sighs> Should have taken this off first actually, but okay, so this is my bubble wrap. And this comes off easily enough. There we go. So I'm really curious actually to cut into this because I want to see what happened to that line because um, I'm pretty sure I broke into it. It doesn't really matter but I'm just curious to see how it looks like. Okay, so put that one. Yeah. And it's a bit soft at the moment. I never cut it so soon after unmolding. I always leave leave it to cure out for a while. Oh, that's not too bad. It's actually very nice. It's a very bright line. Yeah, so I won't be cutting it into bars just yet. I'll let it cure out for a wee bit more. Well, that's really nice. I like that. Maybe that's a bit that's been just kind of pushed through. So far, so good. Yeah, so in some bits it's pushed through, and you can see that 
but oh, it's not too bad. And I love that effect. <laughs> it's so overdone, but I still love it. That's a little slither on top. Yeah, it was a wee bit soft, it's crumbled a wee bit. Yeah, I'll probably leave that for about another week at least before I cut it into bars. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Okay, so this is a quick cutting video for olive leaf and honey soap. That's what it looks like. Now I want to show you what happened. I don't know if you can tell the difference in colour between the top layer and the base layer. The base layer seems quite pale. And that just means the top layer, for some reason, decided to gel. But not the base layer. <laughs> Strange. Okay, so let's check if these are all tight. tight. Okay. okay, that seems about right. Quite a bit of pressure involved, didn't realise this when I bought it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I left this to cure for about a week after unmoulding it, and I realised uh, watching back on my old video that it was far, far too early to um, have cut it into soap logs. That's quite nice. I usually should leave it to cure for at least a week after unmoulding. And that's simply because my soap has quite a bit of olive oil in it. It's not got too many, too much hard out. In terms of percentage, it's not got too much or not a lot of hard oils. So I like that. So that was the effect. I was kind. I was going for with just two different layers separated by a green line, and it's going to show up in some and not in others. But it smells absolutely fantastic. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that's about it. I'll probably stick some photographs at the end of this. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.